Hello the Clockers, I'm on a very busy MSI stand at Computex 2025. Stay tuned for monitors, motherboards and graphics cards. Do you have too much money and you want everyone to know that you have too much money? Well, this crazy concept here is the MSI Supreme Titanium Edition and it is actually made of titanium. So this is an example of the material that they've used. Very expensive material to use for a GPU cooler and they've actually coated it in gold as well to make it look even more special. And this thing, it's so heavy. It's really, really heavy. Apparently, there's not really any benefit to using this material in regards to cooling or anything. It just looks really cool. And I have to agree with that. I think it looks absolutely incredible. Um, it's just one of those like crazy ideas. That's, it's more of like a prototype. They're probably not going to put it into mass production unless you really beg for it. So if you want one of these, make sure to let MSI know and they might actually make one. But yeah, if the RTX 5090 isn't quite expensive enough for you, then MSI have made this. Another really cool concept from MSI is this cyclone cooler design. Uh, they've just kind of done this because it looks more like a piece of artwork and then they've used this little screen on there as well. I th apparently this is a screen from uh, like a smartwatch, pretty much like what I'm wearing right now. Uh, and the idea is that it just looks really beautiful. Kind of similar to the Supreme Titanium Edition. It's not really practical at all. There's probably not much of a benefit in regards to cooling. It just looks amazing and I really like this. Everyone loves vertically mounting their graphics card anyway, so why not create a piece of artwork with a, a nice little screen on there and uh, yeah this particular example was an RTX 5070 once again they're probably not going to put this into mass production but if you beg for it they might do so make sure to let MSI know Another awesome GPU concept from MSI, but this one I can actually see them putting into production because it does have quite a performance benefit in regards to cooling. So it's the RTX 5060 Ti Twin Frozen 2025 OC Edition. And as you can see, this cooler is very compact. So what they've done, this is like your traditional fins cooler. It's made of aluminium. This version here is 50% aluminium and 50% copper, and they've also used a special soldering technique as well, which means that you get much better airflow through the fins. Um, it means that heat transfer is a lot better, and apparently it reduces the temperatures by around seven to 10 degrees. So quite a big benefit just from changing the materials and also the soldering technique as well, which means that you can make a much more compact cooler and it would even be suitable for ITX builds. So I said, would this work with a 5080? Uh, 5080? They're not quite sure it would it would manage to cool a graphics card that powerful. But this example with the 5060 Ti, I really like it. Overall design is really nice. Um, and hopefully MSI put this one in production. This monitor really caught my eye as a potential future upgrade because for me, it ticks literally every box. You've got a 2560 by 1440p resolution, which I think is the real sweet spot for gaming. It's 500 hertz with a 0.3 millisecond response time so super super fast super super smooth and best of all it's also qd oled as well which means the colors the blacks everything looks absolutely fantastic uh, overall really love this monitor from msi but it gets even better the version behind me here is pretty much exactly the same. So it's the same panel, same refresh rate, same specifications, etc. Uh, it's also actually quite a similar price as well, but you see it has this little webcam down the bottom. So that webcam is actually, well, they're calling it AI, but it essentially means that it can detect when a human is sat using the monitor. So with the new OLED Care 3.0 technology, which kind of refreshes the screen, it used to be every 16 hours, it's now gonna be every 24 hours. But with that new technology, it will never happen while someone is actually sat using the monitor. So that would typically be quite annoying when you're trying to game and your monitor turns off and does the OLED refresh, but that's actually gonna prevent that. So I think that's really cool of MSI to do that. Um, it costs only about an extra $20, which I think is quite reasonable. So you can get the same monitor, the new OLED technology, around $800. Um, and yeah, this one could be an upgrade for me. Another monitor with what MSI are calling AI, this is the MPG 274 URDF. Oh, monitor names are just crazy, aren't they? Uh, essentially, this one uses AI to use like a dual mode. So you've got full HD, 320 hertz obviously great for fps games or you've also got 4k 160 hertz which is better for your more kind of like storytelling games where you don't need a super high refresh rate it's not that competitive and you just want to enjoy the higher resolution it also has like this software as well which means you can set up different color settings different profiles depending on what program you're going to be opening and it'll automatically switch between them which i really like but obviously the main benefit here is the new dual mode technology this is also if you're still thinking 
thinking like OLED is not for me because I'm really scared about burning, it actually uses a mini LED as well. It doesn't look quite as amazing as the OLED, like I'm looking between them now, it doesn't have quite the blacks, the gloss, the colors of the OLED, but it still looks really, really good and you don't have to worry about any of the downsides when it comes to burning, etc. of an OLED. So 27 inch 4K mini LED with the dual resolution and also dual refresh rate as well. Definitely one to look out for. I think this one is going to be uh, coming out uh, sort of, I think they said like quarter three, so a little while yet um, for these monitors, but some nice displays here from MSI. I love the MSI Meg series, mostly for the black and gold aesthetic, but it's also quite the like high-end brand as well. So they have some really, really awesome new products here. The main thing that drew my eye is the Meg X870 E Ace. So there is already an Intel version of this motherboard that there is now an AM5 version available. It seems they've also updated the design as well. You've got this new really cool lighting panel here with this like different MSI effects. It's once again black and gold, a very similar design to uh, the Intel motherboard, but obviously, of course, you can use the new AM5 processors. The back as well also looks really nice. It's been reinforced with a back plate, so you've got the, a lot of rigidity on the back there to help because it is it is a very heavy motherboard, uh, so that's definitely going to help with that. But overall, really love the design. Of course, being the Ace range as well, you get a huge amount of connectivity, USB-C, USB ports, you've got the latest like 10 gigabit ethernet port, uh, loads and loads of connectivity on the back here, there, and of course this amazing black and gold design. So it's nice that you can now get the Ace motherboard uh, with AM5. Moving down, we have the Meg Core Liquid E13, so a new all-in-one cooler. They've got this new central uh, flow radiator design, so that's gonna make it much easier to route the tubes, and it should look a lot neater in your case. Obviously, this is set up to be installed in the roof, and then you've got this new tube design. And then you also have the main feature is this six-inch LCD display, and this, you can actually rotate it as well. So depending on where you fit it in your case, you can rotate that round um, and just kind of like situate it how you like it. And displaying on this, they have an awesome and build at the end. The ultimate Meg PC build. So this was a case that was actually announced at CES, but MSI have managed to refine it. They've made it smaller. They've removed the fact that you can install a dual system. They've made it a bit more practical, something that you might actually buy. And it's actually called the MSI Maestro. It's 900L. And this essentially has got all their flagship Meg hardware in here. You can see they've got the 5090. They've also got the Meg godlike motherboard. It's an AMD build. Uh, and then you've also got that new 360 millimeter all-in-one cool liquid cooler in there as well. I think it's just a really awesome looking build. And the best thing about this case as well, it's not just a PC case, it's also a test bench as well. So you can take this entire chassis outside of the case, install your components, and then you can install it back in the case, or you can put these little feet on the bottom and you can actually just use it as a standalone test bench. So if you wanna do some testing, you wanna try out different hardware, you wanna do some overclocking with that godlike motherboard, and then once you're finished, you can put it all in your very fancy showcase glass case and it looks absolutely fantastic it's been getting loads of attention at the show here and I can see why I really like it that has been the MSI stand at Computex 2025 let me know in the comments what was your favorite product that you saw I wish we could cover everything but there is just so much here to show and it's so so busy um, but I hope you enjoyed it and remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you again in the next one so they've done a few different kind of new technologies in regards to the actual fins and the cooler, which means that they could, oh, that's definitely not hook stable. It, hook it on the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah.